Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing everybody's favorite Texas jalapeno poppers. We're going to take a pepper, bacon, cheese, and we're going to get, mm, it's really cool. And we're going to use a few ingredients that aren't normal in poppers. And that's what makes this recipe better and makes it texas -fied. We'll get to that in just a moment. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you guys can know about all of our videos that we're posting. And let's talk about peppers for a second. We're using jalapenos, 25 to 800 on the Scoville scale. And the Scoville scale is how you really measures how hot a pepper is. And if you see red peppers like that run, they are some of the hottest ones out there in the world. So take a look. We've got a jalapeno there. And notice the stem. See the curve in this on there? One of the ways you can tell how hot a pepper is is by how much the stem curves. So straighter stems, not as hot. Pretty cool. When you guys are shopping the grocery store, way to help you start controlling your heat. Some people just can't handle the heat, but they like just a little bit. So when we're looking inside the pepper, a lot of people think the seeds are where the heat is, and it's actually in that white rib. And that's what you want to definitely get out. There's two ways to remove it. Take a spoon. You can start away from the stem, which is pretty easy. I'm a fan of that way. Just try to get as much of the white out as you can. And the other way is actually starting at the stem and taking kind of a straight cut down and then just a scoop. So they both work, just a matter of preference there. And then truly get that white out. Nobody really wants to bite into something that's going to blow their head off. So this recipe is good for making about 16 to 20 halves of a jalapeno, which is a lot. Actually, I take that back. It's about 20 total halves. So we've got a half of an onion here. Notice that the knife is touching the board while I'm making those cuts. It helps keep the knife in a safe position so I'm not going to cut myself. And we want to cut this pretty fine because it's a filling. I mean, it's a really big chunk of onion in there. So that's something to think about. Take your time cutting it. You guys could use there's some cream cheese. You guys could use um, low fat, which would totally work here. I don't think you'd miss it at all. We're going to get some garlic salt in there. Everybody loves some garlic. Just gives us a more complex flavor there. We're going to put two teaspoons. There'll be a link below that'll have the recipe and all the instructions for you. So no worries there. Cilantro. Cilantro is super good for you. Cilantro can even help move metals and toxins out of your body, lower your anxiety, blood pressure. It's really good stuff. It's also called coriander, which is a seed of what grows into cilantro. So try to eat it if you guys can. Of course, it's green. We know green stuff is good for us. So we're going to put one heaping tablespoon in here. One thing that's cool about this recipe is you can scale it up. You could take it times two, or you could just kind of eyeball it and go with the ingredients I've got here. Serrano. Serranos can be extremely hot, but notice the stem is straight. That's something to consider when you're shopping, and this is what makes it Texas jalapeno hot poppers, because we're putting more heat back into our dish. So we're going to get the rib out as much as possible, and we're only going to use a half, because we're trying to add more flavor. Something cool about Serranos, though, is they're kind of fruity. They actually have a lot of flavor, which... We might say the jalapeno doesn't have a ton of flavor. It's more thought of as hot, but the serrano, so noticeable, really fruity. So I'm taking long strips there from one end. That's going to make it really easy to get a really fine cut. We really do want to cut this one up really fine so it'll distribute nicely throughout all the, the filling. So once again, like the onion, take your time. The finished product, it'll be noticeable. Unless you like a lot of heat, then go ahead and maybe just cut up some small ones like that and throw a few larger chunks in there. That could be cool. So that's a fourth of a teaspoon there. So we're really not adding too much, but it'll be noticeable. We need salt. We like salt. It brings flavor. And we're going to add some more freshness. So we're going to use half of a lime. The lime really does, like said, freshness, and it will be noticeable. You'll notice it when you're biting into it. You're going to be like, hmm, that's a little bit different. A lot of, traditionally, I don't think the lime really goes in there. And I'm usually not used it in the past, so I experimented this time, and I really liked it, and I think you will too. A little black pepper in there. Here's one of our fun, different, and secret ingredients, pimento cheese. We're using cream cheese, so we're reinforcing the goodness of cheese, and we're giving it more complexity and more depth of flavor. And that's why these jalapeno poppers are better than some of the other recipes out there. You know, it's really hard to meet a jalapeno popper you didn't like, unless maybe the bacon wasn't cooked. Aha. Uh -huh. So try to combine everything well here. It does not have to be perfect. Um, that little bit of cream cheese can be welcomed. You know, and sometimes if you get a hot bite, do take a taste. Make sure it, everything's balanced out for you. And let's wrap them up. A million and one ways you guys could do this. You could even replace the bacon and use something like prosciutto, which would be taking it to the next level. So the cut on the left that I'm doing there is better if you have like thick cut bait. And both of them work really well. But the idea is we're going to cut the bacon in half so it's not as thick. It's going to give it a better chance to 
render the fat out while it's cooking in the oven on a roasting rack. So fill up your jalapenos as much as you possibly can. Probably about a tablespoon and a half for a normal size jalapeno, considering that these are about normal size jalapenos, at least the ones we get here in Texas. So we're going to take half of one strip of bacon here, and we're going to start down by the stem end. And we're going to try not to twist it. We're going to try to leave it flat. And what that's going to do is just give us a better presentation, which is always cool. We eat with our eyes. And the, when these are cooking in the oven, because they cook for a while, the cheese is going to try to ooze out, which is, is actually pretty cool. And it adds, the cheese gets a little more texture when it's coming out. It's cool. So roasting rack, for sure, use that. In the oven, 350, 30 to 40 minutes. It's just a matter of your preference. Get that bacon cooked. And the longer they cook, the softer the jalapeno is going to become. These are great, guys. I hope you really enjoy this. It pairs really, really nice with like um, a French onion dip or something like that. Great for your party. Think Super Bowl. Come join us on social media. Love to have you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Remember, everything's going to be in the link below. You guys have the best. And check out some of our playlists here at the end of the video. Take care, guys.